Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and this is a response to Cutlery Level's tag video. Now he didn't tag me specifically, he tagged everyone watching it. And I thought since I had the time, uh, I'll go ahead and make my top 5 EDC knives of choice video. Now um, let me specify a few things. I like all of my knives to have the ability to be used as a um, self-defense weapon, but I'm not um, including my um, um, tactile knives in this um, um, ca uh, EDC category. What I mean by that is I'm not going to uh, include my um, uh, five and a half inch um, folding knives. I'm not going to include um, knives that I carry for the specific purpose of self-defense uh, I'm not going to include those knives I'm also not going to include my ballast songs in this video because uh, most everywhere they will uh, consider switch blades now the switch blades have just been legalized in Texas but they're still seen as an aggressive weapon in a lot of places so I'm not going to include that in the, this um, um, lot of knives. So let's get started. My top five EDC knives um, going from left to right um, and uh, so let's get started. This is the uh, Opener number eight high carbon steel. I forced a patina on it. I love this knife for several reasons. Um, and I, I, I tend to stay away from slip joints and old style uh, folding knives, but this one uh, is one of my favorites. I like it because um, one, uh, it has a very, very thin blade, which makes for a very sharp knife, and two, it has a solid milled um, wooden handle that is extremely lightweight. It's just one piece, and um, it's just, um, I don't really realize I have it when I'm carrying it, um, unless it gets kind of crooked in my pocket and starts poking me, uh, because it's just free floating in the pocket. And I generally don't like knives that just free float in the pocket. I like pocket clips. But out of all of my slip joint knives, which I don't have a big selection of, uh, this is um, my favorite. Now, some of you savvy knife guys will say well that's not a true slip joint and you're right it's not uh, it's a collar lock but for um, all intents and purposes this is in what I categorize as a slip joint just because it takes two hands to open it and it does not have an auto locking um, system you have to manually lock it so just for argument's sake, I'm calling it a slip joint, and this is my favorite. Spidalgo fans should recognize this. This is the full flat grind uh, Endora in this vibrant blue. I love this um, color blue. Um, as you can see, I, I'm wearing it on my wrist. I got several uh, t-shirts in this color blue, and the shoestrings in my shoes, which I'll beginning to wear out. I'm going to need some new shoes pretty soon. Is also this color. So I really like this color. It matches a lot of my apparel and um, I like it because it's one hand operation and uh, you can close it one handedly and put it back in your pocket. Uh, you hear me say this in a lot of videos. Something that's very appealing to me is a smooth transition between getting out of your pocket, making the cut, uh, and putting it back in the pocket. The smoother that transition is, the, um, to me, the better, more appealing the knife is. So the uh, blue full flat ground Endura definitely has a place in my favorite EDCs. Now this doesn't have a smooth transition from, in it, f from uh, deploying, cutting, and then uh, returning into the sheath, but um, it's a a warm cliff, chisel grind, a moon kiss from Bastinelli. You can see his logo right there. 
This is from Bastinelli Creations. This is one of his production knives. He's a French knife maker. And um, um, he has an awesome YouTube channel. Um, uh, although I haven't seen um, um, a lot of recent stuff from him here lately. Uh, but I have seen a lot of his knife designs on Blade HQ. But um, this is one of my favorite EDC fixed blades. It's an, uh, uh, a neck knife. And it's just very comfortable in the hand. You have two uh, jimping locations. You have the jimping on the ramp and jimping on the spine in case you want to hold it in this pointing grip. And it's good for opening up boxes, breaking down boxes and opening packages. Obviously it's not going to be the best at you know like uh, food prep and stuff although you can use it for food prep but um, I've, I've seen them cut tomatoes with it but um, to me it's um, the perfect package knife opening up mail, opening up packages and um, I really enjoy using it. It's my favorite EDC fixed blade and I own a few EDC fixed blades. Okay, well down to the final two. So far this has kind of been um, uh, in order from favorite to most favorite. Alright, this is what we have. A um, Benchmade Onslaught. This is a limited edition Onslaught. It has the carbon fiber handles and um, anodized blue titanium uh, spacers, which again is this my favorite color blue. I really like this color blue. And um, let's see, it is, you don't know if you can see that, 295 out of 500. D2 steel uh, has the access lock, which makes it very easy to operate one-handed again go sticking with that theme of that transition from getting out of the pocket cutting putting it back in the pocket this is one of my favorites i wish that uh, uh, they had the bigger one like this they had um, the full size onslaught with the carbon fiber and the anodized blue titanium i'll just go nuts but uh, as of right now, this is doing good. I enjoy using it. I use this um, a lot of times in food prep. You know, if I'm eating a steak, uh, I often use this to cut up my food with, uh, to cut up my steak. So um, that is definitely one of my favorites. It's a little bit on the dressy side, but um, it's, a, it's a good knife and it's an attractive knife. Now this would have to be probably my all time favorite EDC knife. And this is the Stridal SMF. Um, it has a little bit of play. I think it needs to be the pivot needs to be tightened, but I don't have the special tool to tighten it. But um, when you hold it um, with a firm grip, it doesn't wiggle as much. But um, I love the titanium frame lock. I love this um, um, finish they put on it. Um, as you can see, I use this quite a bit. Um, uh, sweat from my pocket has rusted, uh, um, has put rust on the blade. You can see the rust. Um, but like I said, this knife is getting used um, much more than any other knife. And again, uh, one-handed opening, one-hand closing, smooth transition from in and out of the pocket. So that's probably why I like this. I also like the finger choil. It's very comfortable. And um, that's it. That's my top five EDC knives. Um, got the um, Stridal SMF, uh, Spidalco Endura, uh, full flat grind, um, blue handle. The Elpinol number no. eight, the Benchmade Onslaught limited edition, and the um, Moon Kiss from Bastinelli Creations. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and uh, uh, that's it. Uh, hope y'all have a great day, and I'm out.